got out my green marker because now I take the, what I noticed and I start to think about what does all of that data mean uh, and what it means to me, number one, as I look at the things that I highlighted as being interesting, number one is that gummy bears do not dissolve in these liquids. They did not disappear or turn into a liquid. The liquid amounts got lower and the weight of the bears got higher. That means the second thing I know is that gummy bears absorb water and vinegar. I can't say that they absorb oil very well. Only the yellow one seems to have absorbed any of the oil. The red and the green gummy did not absorb oil. So my third thing that I learned or that I, it means to me is that most gummy bears don't absorb oil. So as a scientist, we collect data we analyze the data, we look at what does it show us and what does it mean. And oftentimes that also will lead to new questions. So in this example, one of my leading questions going forward would be, why do the yellow gummy bears absorb more than the green and the red? And I still of course have my original question is, what? how can I dissolve a gummy bear. So we started with me putting gummy bears in my mouth and thinking about um, what makes them dissolve and I thought it was the liquid. I've now discovered it's not just the liquid that makes them dissolve. I need to find out what else might make gummy bears dissolve.